Professor Morton. Uh, thank you, Deputy Speaker. Always uh, good to speak before you, and welcome back to this wonderful place. Uh, Deputy Speaker, recently I attended the official opening of the Metro South Engineering Trade Skills Centre at the Runcorn State High School. Uh, at Runcorn State High School, Runcorn High is already well advanced in offering their students practical trainings for the modern workforce. Runcorn High is a manufacturing and engineering gateway school. It provides career opportunities for students to enter the manufacturing and engineering industries. The Queensland Government, in particular, Minister for Education Kate Jones and the Minister for Training and Skills, Queensland Attorney General Yvette Darth, uh, have collaborated with Manufacturing Skills Queensland to implement the Gateway Schools project. Gateway Schools provide students with learning experiences and opportunities to enter the manufacturing and engineering industries through trade, paraprofessional and professional career pathways. These schools have an innovative curriculum structure and embed manufacturing and engineering industry related content into the school's core curriculum. <clears throat> Runcorn High is one of 14 Queensland high schools involved in the Gateway Schools project and is the only school participating in South East Queensland. The opening marked the completion of a trade skills centre at Runcorn High, and it will now be putting their students through the incredible trade training facilities on site. Runcorn High School's new trade skills centre was built with Commonwealth Government funding, part of Labor's 2007 trade training centre in schools election commitment. Uh, uh, and uh, the Attorney General of Queensland, Yvette Darth, was elected at the same time with me uh, in 2007. So she well knows this uh, election commitment and Labor's commitment. The Rudd government's 2008-09 budget provided $2.5 billion over 10 years to implement this program. Four rounds of phase one of the program were completed under the Labor government. Sadly, the coalition government announced in 2013 that funding for the trade training centres would cease following five, round five of phase one, and the projects will now be known as trade skills centres. The objectives of the Labor program included addressing skill shortages in traditional trades and other eligible occupations by improving student access to trade training facilities that meet industry standards, improving the quality of schooling offered to secondary students undertaking trade-related pathways, and assisting young people to make a successful transition from school to work or further education or training. Runcorn High's facility uh, that I inspected uh, will make an enormous difference th for these young students' futures. Run the Runcorn High School site was opened by the Assistant Minister for Vocational Education and Skills, uh, Karen Andrews, and we were joined at the event by the State Member for Sunnybank, Peter Russo, and the State Member for Bulimba, Di Farmer. Runcorn High Principal, Jo Sutil, uh, proudly showed off her school to visitors from uh, Yoronga State High School and Bal Balmoral State High School. Uh, these two other trade school centres uh, uh, are clustering together. The principals, Terry Heath from Yoronga State High School and Linda Galloway from Balmoral State High, were there to witness the opening of the Runcorn facility, and we actually did three plaques all at once. Uh, I met Michael, uh, a grade 10 student at Runcorn State High, who was very proud to show me around the workshops and equipment. Michael said he was looking forward to the workshop starting so that he could actually help build a Formula One race car because uh, parked out front of the facility was a Formula One race car. Yes, one of the programs that will be offered at Runcorn High will be Formula High School program, which will teach students engineering skills and practices while building a race car, uh, which is uh, quite more, a little bit more exciting than the coffee table I made when I uh, did woodwork. But this is not just fun. The students will find it informative and transformative. Students who undertake the Formula High School program will be completing a Certificate two in Engineering Pathways, an engineering qualification that will prep them for a range of occupations. They will also learn practical general work, uh, ready knowledge and team building skills. Team building skills. These are all attributes an employer would be eager to see in any prospective employee. Perhaps the uh, coalition opposite might like to consider sending Senator Abetz or the member for Oringa or Senator Bernardi or the member for Dawson even uh, to work on their team bu building skills at uh, Runcorn High School. I'm sure they'd be welcome. It's unfortunate that the uh, uh, coalition government doesn't follow its own jobs and growth mantra. If there is one initiative that will create jobs and growth, it is addressing the school shortage in traditional trades. Industry knows that and the trade skills centres will help do that. 
Sadly, the coalition government, when it took office, axed the funding for many more of these centres. I'm pleased that students in my electorate attending the run for the